In this video, we're going to do some more questions on simultaneous equations where at least one is non-linear. This is question number five. We're asked to solve the following simultaneous equations. So in A, we've got equation one is x minus 2y is equal to negative 8 and equation two, x multiplied by y plus y squared is equal to 3. So this is my linear and this is my non-linear equation. What I'm going to do is rearrange equation 1 and substitute in to eliminate either x or y. Looking ahead, I think it's going to be easier now to make x the subject of the equation. That's for two reasons. One, we've got 1x instead of 2y. And secondly, we can see x multiplied by y and then we've got y squared. So squaring a term in x is going to be slightly harder. So let's start off. What I'm going to write now is that x is equal to, adding the 2y to both sides, 2y minus 8. That means equation 2, substituting in for x, we've got 2y minus 8 multiplied by y plus the existing y squared is equal to 3. This has now allowed me to eliminate x and form a quadratic equation in y. So we're going to have 2y squared minus 8y plus y squared is equal to 3. Tidying up, 2y squared plus y squared, that'll be 3y squared minus 8y minus 3 is equal to 0. That looks like it's going to factor. We're going to have 3y plus 1 and then we're going to have y minus 3 and that's equal to 0. So from here, we can see that y is going to be equal to negative one third, or y is going to be equal to three. So I've got my y values. All I need to do is find my x values. We've seen that equation one is two y minus eight will be equal to x. So if I substitute this in, we can say now that x will be equal to two lots of y, which is negative one third, and then we're gonna subtract eight. So what's that going to give me? Negative two-thirds. So that's going to be negative 26 over 3. So when y is equal to negative one-third, x is going to be equal to negative 26 over 3. When y is equal to 3, substituting in x is 2y minus the 8. So the x-coordinate for the point of intersection, or if you like the x-value in our simultaneous equations, is going to be negative 2. So when y is 3, x is equal to negative 2. So that's what we've done. The reason I'm suggesting to do it this way is if we had rearranged and made y the subject, we could have written now that 2y is going to be equal to x plus v8. So y would be equal to 1 half x plus 4. Substituting that in twice and having to square it is going to mean that the algebra is going to be harder. So looking ahead, that's why I chose x to be the subject and substituted in. Students sometimes forget to find x once they found y, but it's important that you give both x and y. OK, part B. So first equation, equation 1, x multiplied by y plus x squared is 5 eighteenths. And then the second equation, x plus y minus 5, 6 is equal to 0. So this is linear and this is certainly non-linear. Looking ahead, what I'm going to do is make y the subject. I can simply substitute in y into the first equation if I can rearrange equation 2. So rearranging equation 2, y is going to be equal to, adding the 5 6s, 5 over 6 minus x. I'm going to substitute that in to equation 1. So what we're going to get is x multiplied by y. So now I can write in 5 over 6 minus x plus the existing x squared is equal to 5 over 18. So what I've done here, I've eliminated y by substituting in. Multiplying through, we've got 5 over 6x minus x squared plus x squared is equal to 5 over 18. Minus x squared plus x squared or cancel. So we've got 5 over 6x is equal to 5 over 18 which works really nicely for fives will cancel. 6 over 18 is 1 over 3. At this stage, I need to find y. I'm going to substitute back in. 
So y is equal to 5 over 6 minus x, which is 1 over 3. 5 over 6 minus 1 over 3 is the same as 3 over 6, which is going to be 1 half. So in this case, we only have one solution for x and one solution for y. So these don't always give more than one point of intersection of the two graphs. In this particular case, we'd have one, and that's when x is equal to one third and y is equal to one half. Let's look at the last one. We've got x is equal to 12 over y. 2x minus, five, uh, minus y minus 5 is equal to 0. I'm going to sketch this one up and show roughly what's going on. This isn't going to be brilliant. It just gives us some idea of what's going on. We're going to have a reciprocal function, something like that, and something like that. That's roughly what it's going to look like. And then we're going to have now a linear function and the linear function is going to look give or take. Again, not brilliant. It'll just look something like so. So what we're going to have are two points of intersection. So this is the line now 2x minus y minus 5 is equal to 0. And this is x is equal to 12 over y. I've got lots of different choices here. What I'm going to do is simply write that equation 1, x is equal to 12 over y, that is going to be substituted into equation 2. So I'm going to have 2 lots of x. Well, that's 12 over y. Minus y minus 5 is equal to 0. So what I've done, I've eliminated x from the second equation. So let's see what we got. We got 24 over y minus y minus 5 is equal to 0. At this stage, I'm going to multiply through by y. 24 minus y squared minus 5y is equal to 0. This is a quadratic in y, and we can rearrange. y squared plus 5y minus 24 is equal to 0. That looks like it's going to factor. We'll have y plus 8, and then y minus 3. That's equal to 0. So we can say that y is equal to negative 8, or y is equal to positive 8. At this stage, I can find the x-coordinate by simply substituting in x is equal to 12 over y. So we know that x is equal to 12 over y. So x at this stage is going to be 12 over negative 8, which is going to give us negative 3 over 2. And then when y is equal to 3, x is going to be 12 over 3, x is going to be 4. If we just look, this point right here will have coordinates 3, 4. And this one right here will have negative 8, negative 3 over 2. So that's going to be now negative, what have we got on here? Uh, ne sorry, negative, let's put these the right way around. So that should be 4, 3. So putting these on, 4, 3, uh, rather than 3, 4. So 4, 3. And this is going to be now the negative 3 over 2 that we've just found. And y is going to be equal to negative 8. So negative 3 over 2, comma, negative 8. So as you can see, a rough sketch here. Just check that you're not putting them the wrong way around, as I nearly did. Um, but we simply substitute in, solve for one, plug back into the other, and find it from there. So there we go. Three questions looking at linear and non-linear simultaneous equations.